Hi everyone, Arjun Page, and this is continuing from last video where I played with brushes. This is one of the pages that I've made. I just um, cut it to size and glued it as a background here in my art journal. So that's my the beginning of my background and now I want to add some pattern, some interest to the background. I'm taking this stencil. I think it, I bought it a long time ago and I think it's from Deco Art, but I'm not sure. I have here some white gesso and a little bit of yellow acrylic paint. I've picked gesso just because it's more opaque. Otherwise, you can use a plain white uh, acrylic paint or any shade of yellow or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be yellow. That's what I wanted for this page. So I'm just starting and I'm mixing the two, the white and the yellow. And I'm starting to stencil. I'm using a makeup sponge and just stenciling away. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. I just want some interest in the back and each time I'm picking a little bit more of the yellow or the white just so we want to be a flat solid color it's more interesting if you have variation in the color Yeah, one more here. I'm putting them quite randomly on the page. It really doesn't matter. This is part of the background. And that's it. Let's do another one here. I really like it so I'm thinking of adding more more dots more to my background but I need a little bit more yellow here almost done okay so once again putting it randomly And just adding details to my background it can be anything you can stamp you can stencil you can doodle really up to you yeah <laughs> I want more Let's see. Let's do this, but not a complete one. Just like this. Oh, yeah. This playing is so much fun. No overthinking, just doing. Yeah, okay, so I like it. That's it for uh, the stenciling. And okay, now I wanted a strip here and I already measured. This is just plain uh, wrapping uh, paper, gift wrapping paper, and I really liked it. So I kept some uh, for, <laughs> for crafting. So I already uh, measured it to be to size here 
so I'm just going to put some glue in the back okay glue 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 just a little bit more enough and I'm putting it here yeah next next I want some flower to be my focal image I don't have one yet I'm going to do now the flower I'm taking this is just tracing paper I like working on tracing paper to create templates and now I'm just going to take a pencil let's move this aside and let's move this aside before I find myself in it I just know it okay so let's see I'm doing it quite freehand Now, this is just when I want something to be uh, symmetrical, then I'm doing it on tracing paper while folding it. So now I can uh, just flip it over and trace what I've done here. Now, why the tracing paper? Because First of all, for the symmetry, and second, now that it's open, I can see if I like it or if I need to fix it. Like, now I'm looking at it and it's too wide for my taste and too short, so I want it to go at least uh, here, and I want to fix it to be something like this, so I can fix it here. Now I can take a permanent marker and go over what I decided I like. Yeah, and now I can again fold it and I'm going over what I like and I will have the flower that is going to be my focal image for this page and I'm always keeping the templates later on I can decide to even do a stencil out of it the only thing in stenciling is that I will uh, make some room in between the shapes to make a stencil if I decide to go that way so now that I have my the shape of my flower I want to do it to transfer it to some nice uh, paper I'm taking white Bristol paper it's enough it's thick enough to work on and the way I like to go about it is on the underside I will put I will go over the lines with a 10B, 6B, something dark pencil and this will make my transfer now I'm just going over the black lines from the underside of the shape here we go yeah okay let's see let's put it here and now I've flipped it to the right side. This is symmetrical, so it's not that important. But when I'm doing any kind of other shape, 
that is not symmetrical then yes it de it depends which side you want to trace so now I'm just going over the black lines and underneath it will transfer to my page I'm not using a uh, carbon paper copy paper the black uh, paper because I don't want it to smear on my page otherwise in other cases I will just use a uh, carbon paper so here we are and now I'm going with again permanent marker but I'm using this side I it doesn't have to be it's just how I like my uh, I don't know flowers or any images to go and this is just a CD DVD marker it's very cheap it's from the cheap store and it works great and now I'm going about it very loosely and I'm going over each line uh, at least two times because I want it very loose and very I don't know what to call it like so and afterwards I will take an eraser and get rid of the pencil lines now of course if you like things to be precise then go with precise it's just a matter of what you like here we go let's take an eraser just getting rid of the pencil lines of course now you can color it however you want I think I'm going to use my intense pencils. I think this is the <laughs> most expensive thing I have in my stash. Everything else is <laughs> very cheap. This is the only thing that I saved for and it cost a lot of money, but I really like them. So <laughs> it is what it is so let's see what color do i want i'm going here with some blue on the inside i'm putting it again very loosely and I'm leaving it a bit for a now. This should be green. And now I'm going with some yellow. Let's see. Again, very loosely. And then I will need to activate it with water. okay taking a brush do i have water here i have a jar with all the other brushes but it's dirty forgot to bring something clean let's take one no not this one okay i need to <laughs> bring some water clean water i'll be back okay so I'm back I've got some water I've got some brush and I'm starting from here I know there is nothing here but I still want to put some water here because when I will reach to the yellow I want it to spread like this into the white now I've gone really soft with it very little amount of 
color and now I'm activating the yellow and I'm just going into this blue like so I'm cleaning my brush because I'm going to do the same thing on the other petals just putting down water here and now starting to activate the yellow and letting it travel into the white I'm not sure about this color combination but we'll see I let it dry and then if I don't like it I will just do another one and leave this for another project of course uh, when dealing with things that need to be activated with water it's better to go and use watercolor but because it's a small amount of uh, water I decided to just go with this so uh, some of it uh, traveled outside I don't care I'm going to fussy cut this uh, flower I'm going to leave it be now I want to add details here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same a uh, page the same a uh, painted paper I used for the background and I'm going to cut shapes that will go here and will make when glued here it will look like I've uh, used a die cut on the uh, gold strip you will see what I'm talking about in a minute and I'm thinking what kind of a uh, design do I want here I marked the length and the width of this strip here in a pencil just so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go about it quite freely and do the same shapes I've done for the flower and whatever will be will be I'm going with the darker pencil just so you will see what I'm talking about I'm gonna cut something like this so I've got some work here to cut all these shapes yeah and also to wait for the flower to dry and then I'm gonna cut it so I'll be back I'm back so finished cutting all of this and changed uh, colors and made the same flowers that if uh, flower that is going to go here and now I figured that I want more definition for uh, this shapes so I'm taking a black ink pad and just going around the edges of each piece then all I have to do is glue, just glue this to in place I'm doing it quite quickly it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be anything special And if you don't have ink pads, you can take any kind of black a felt pen and with the tip just go over the edges. Basically the felt tip is like a mini mini <laughs> micro mini <laughs> ink pad. So now I need to start gluing. I'm going to take 
and this glue this is a really strong glue I'm only using it just because it has a really fine tip that will uh, make my life easier that's it otherwise you can use any glue you want this is just easier for me so placing this here and now I'm starting to put the pieces down they can still uh, move so that's good so I can place a little bit with play with the placement Just making sure everything is stuck in place. Yeah. Whoops. Yes, next, now the flower. Mm. I want it to go a little bit over here, but I'm not sure. No, I'll just... I think I'll put it here. And now all that is left is to do a stem for my flower. And I'm going to use a gold acrylic marker. The one I have is from the cheap store. <laughs> and I think I, I will also put some gold here. That's good. And I'm going to do some leaves like this. And just so it will go with the rest of the page, I'm going to take again the fine tip of the marker and I'm going to go like this and make it more defined and I need for <laughs> the gold to dry before I'm ruining another marker because I don't have any patience in some things Okay, so fine lines <laughs> need to <laughs> wait for the gold to dry. So I'll be back. Okay, so finished with the squiggly line uh, all around the gold uh, leaves and stem. And the only thing I'm going to add here, I've got some sticker 
here that says blossom that I want to add and put it here let's hope it's straight seems so <laughs> Yeah, and just a little bit, once again, I'm going over with some loose lines. That's it. So, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching, and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.